The opening sequence has been released for Star Trek Prodigy. You know what that means, I have a question to answer. How does this theme compare to the rest of Star Trek openings? The opening is very similar to the stereotypical haunted organ progression of 1, 6, 4, 5 in the key of C. The difference is that the four chord is now major. What this does with the progression is it gives you that minor feeling of unease, but all of a sudden we have a rising feeling. While not directly outlined in the music, we feel that minor mode, but then have a natural six, then a natural seven, giving us the major feeling. It's a very strong use of a borrow chord, the major four, in this case. The main intro is that same chord progression repeated, but now we have an emphasis on G, A flat, A natural, G, over a grooving drum beat, sounding very similar to the James Bond progression. This section is signaling a strong action vibe. The main theme mixes so many elements, it's difficult to analyze consistently. First, the chord progression is maintained from earlier. It starts out with an ascending open fifth interval. This interval has been used over and over as the hero type trope. The sound and style of the theme here is also similar to what Giacchino used for the Kelvin movies. The B theme is very contrasting to the A theme, and I feel it almost works well, except for the power motor percussion. It feels like one of those roller coasters that boasts a fast acceleration at the start. You just get jolted back into a huge windup going back to the A section. Everything as a whole from here just keeps things off balance, feeling like you are on a literal roller coaster, which one of the visuals shows that. Once we are through our A theme, we start the outro. It hammers in our one chord like a classical symphony, not really going anywhere, almost as if they decided to add this in at the last second, so Michael stretched it out. We end this section with an A Mixolydian scale against our new tonic of D. We conclude with our four note motive we all know from the original series and a final wink of Kelvin music at the end. As much as you'd think I'm not a fan of this music as how critical I'm being, I really enjoyed it and liked Michael Giacchino's music in general. The problems I have with it are what I feel is the Star Trek sound, mainly established by Jerry Goldsmith with the motion picture. Michael did his own thing with the Kelvin movies and is doing so here. This theme is nothing like Picard, Discovery, or Lower Decks, and I would imagine the show wouldn't be either. This theme is screaming an action-packed show instead of adventure that I would have expected. The borrowed chords do keep us off balance from a tonal center, and the grooving percussion really have us on the roller coaster ride. So as much as I enjoyed the music, I don't feel it is great as a Star Trek theme, but we will have to wait and see what the series is like to really understand how much this music actually fits the show. So what are your thoughts on the theme to Star Trek Prodigy? Do you agree with my analysis? I'd like to know. If you would like to see more analysis like this from me, please consider buying me a drink at the link in description since companies don't care about fair use and I don't have the means to legally fight them. I appreciate the support and I will of course see you in the next video.